who won. I hope everybody's keeping well. So with the talk that's up that they talked about when the new government was being formed and um, the coalition government, Fianna Gael, Fianna Fáil, and the Green Party. Um, and I remember sitting here, I was talking here, and I was saying, I was reading off the computer who was the new government ministers, and I remember there was a good bit of controversy. Um, when I said Charlie Flanick was going, and everybody was like, Minister Hel- Helen McAtee would be a lot worse. Um, I still stand by Minister Charlie Flanick, who was somebody that, you know, I didn't like at all. He wanted to bring back the black and tan. I don't think anybody would say, and I don't know how he's still a TD, but sure, look at, he, hopefully his day will come, or his judgment will come. Um, you know, hopefully he'd be kicked out some stage of the down island because I think the British Parliament would be more fitting for him. Um, but yeah, here's the thing. I sat here and I talked about who's the new minister's white. And I came to the education minister, a first time TD for Kerry, who only got 4,000 votes in the, in the election, more or less Danny Healyway and Michael Healyway ran away rather than Kerry. Um, and I came to head, um, and minister Norma Foley. Yes, no, a good friend, Norma Foley, who pisses everyone off. Um, so I came to her, and I was like, I cut her some slack, because she's a first-time TD, I cut her a bit of slack. Um, and she's, you know, she's first-time going into the 11, so she whoop, might not know what she's doing. And I said, cut her a bit of slack. My God, my friends keep rubbing it into me. But I, them few words I said, I, give her, I cut her some slack. I give her a chance. Well... I never been so wrong in my life, and that's literally the most regrettable thing I ever said in my whole life. I give her a chat. I cut her some slack. The mind boggles. <laughs> How naive I was to give her a chat, um. And this, like, I, like for a while when she was going around with the leaves, I was losing the will to live. I'm not going to lie to people because it, it was nonsensical what no one thought it was talking about half of the time. It wasn't, was no, no, there was no logic. And still to this day she talks no logic whatsoever. Um, <laughs> what, like what can I say? I'm on the force of tears here. Because I don't know if I'm going to cry or I'm going to laugh. Because I was so stupid to say that. And <laughs> I, I, don't, I really don't know. I, I, like my friends, and I know my friends have recorded it. And, uh, and, they say that. and every time I say something about number 40, they rewind that. <laughs> I said that was the most embarrassing moment of my life. 